So once again, Panasonic tells me that if I update my firmware to the newest 2.4, the autofocus has once again improved. And we all know that from past videos, it has never been perfect, but if they can make it better, even in little steps, that's exciting to me. So let's test it. Today we are running identical setups. We have a GH5 with a brand new 2.4 firmware and an old GH5 with a 2.3 firmware, both using the identical lenses. We are using an Olympus 75 millimeter 1.8 lens. So it is fairly shallow, which will really give us accurate testing. We are at ISO what? 125. ISO 125, aperture 2.8 on both of them. First test we are gonna do is face detection autofocus, one that I have had nothing but issues with ever since I've used, but let's see if it's improved at all. I'm gonna walk straight to the camera and we'll just see how it does. Face detection autofocus test. Face detection autofocus, stepping out of the frame and stepping back in. A little bit of a faster walk now, and I'll try to lower down as I'm walking so that it stays on my face and sees whether or not it does it correctly. How is it? Ah, uh, the old firmware wins, he says, ah, no, uh, bummer. Good. So now we are using what is called tracking mode. I don't think this mode works good at all, but Tom's telling me that this other firmware has not still currently focused, but right now we are, we're in focus on number one. All right, so now we're gonna walk forward. The other camera may not do anything, but we're gonna try our best. This is tracking mode. Try, gotta lower down as I'm doing this here. How's it look? Still in focus. Still in focus, focus still, well. yeah, the, the other one. All right, so that's good. Uh, now I'm walking backwards, same tracking. Okay, so we are now testing 225 area. This is not a mode I use very often, but some people do. Let's test this one. Both cameras currently in focus. Here we go. How's it looking, Tom? Both in focus. Both in focus, all right, we're moving back. Okay, I'm gonna step out of the frame. Okay, so this mode is what I always claimed to be what I found the most accurate, simply because I think it eliminates it trying to figure out what to focus on and it simply just focuses on the center or wherever that point is. This is called one area autofocus. This is the one I talked about in both my other autofocus videos. I feel like it's the most accurate. It takes the guesswork out of the camera, so let's see if that's improved. Here we go. I'm trying to walk on the straight line here. <laughs> Okay, walking back in the frame. Okay, and we're gonna walk closer out of the frame, coming back into the frame, leaving the frame, back into the frame. Nothing, neither one? Neither one. All right, at least it makes it feel better. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Went through past. It's past it, you say? Mm -hmm. Like, it the missed building. it. It oh. went to the building, yeah. And did center. Yeah. Is mine not on or something? I don't know. It just did. Okay, uh, tripods right there. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
So now I wanna to jump to a couple custom settings because obviously you do have capabilities on the GH5 to change what the actual focus setting speeds are. So I have now changed the autofocus custom settings to be plus three speed and plus one response mode. So this naturally should have a faster speed because it says it does. The first one was entirely just on their settings. Let's see if this improved at all. This is in face detection mode, plus three speed, plus one responsive. Now we're at one area autofocus with this faster speed settings of plus three and plus one response mode. All right, let's move to the stop sign. I'm in focus. I'm in focus. Okay, back to the bumper. In focus. In focus. Tripod. In focus. In focus. Interesting. My tire. In focus pretty quickly, actually. In focus pretty quickly as well. Three, three yep. two, one. In focus. In focus. Mine's focusing hunting now. Mine's not hunting. Nice. All right, let's go to the building right behind it above my car. So just like move up and get the building in that frame rather than the car. Okay. Ready? Focused. Focused. Tripod. Go. Nope. Mine neither. If I move down a little bit now, it does. Like if I go more toward the handle, so there's more base for it to follow and find. Still more on me. Okay, so I haven't brought these into post yet. Tom is telling me that there does seem to be an improvement with it. Is it 100% usable? Who knows? Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is obviously pretty extreme when it comes to the depth of field and what it's trying to do and the lens that's on it. I normally wouldn't use autofocus with GH5 in general, and if I was, I probably wouldn't be using it on this lens. For something like vlogging or something where you're doing a more wide angle lens, I think it's probably has greatly improved. I no longer have a wide angle lens because I haven't been vlogging on this camera in a while, but I am curious to test it. So I may have to get another wide angle lens and test it out, but hopefully this is helpful. Sometimes just short and to the point reviews are the best way to do it. We're just testing whether it's improved. And if you are looking to get better autofocus with the GH5, maybe this helps. So as I'm just finishing up this edit, doing the comparison, the autofocus, one thing I do want to note about the firmware that I have noticed, Tom also pointed out to me yesterday when we were working on it. It seems like even though the cameras were set to identical exposure, so ISO, aperture, and shutter speed were identical, the exact same lens, exact same camera, everything was identical. The exposure that actually like came out as a result from the two cameras was different. In almost all the shots, the older firmware was producing a brighter image, like an overexposed image, and the 2.4 was a better image. Neither one of them was actually perfect, so that was partially our fault, but more importantly, they weren't the same with identical settings. So whether or not that's a bug, or whether or not that just so happens that that's just the result of what we got outside, I'll have to do some more testing this weekend with it to see, but. I will definitely be updating all my cameras to the newest firmware. I always feel like it's good to do that because they improve some bugs here and there and, and make things smoother and give you better options. So I'll update them all. I'll report back if I see anything, but hopefully this was helpful to you. I like to do these videos as often as I can because as a GH5 user and as a channel that has a lot of GH5 people following it, I like to just provide these little short little videos that help you see what the new firmware did. And if it improves autofocus, great. So. Thanks for watching, that's it for now.